Welcome to the channel. I want to thank you guys for tuning in on today. All right, so today I want to start out by saying that I am not a tax expert, a tax accountant, or a financial advisor, or anything of that sort. What I'm doing today is just sharing with you information that some of you may already know, so it's going to serve as a reminder. But for others, or many, it's going to serve as new information, and that is even though you are living abroad some of you um, you do not plan to go back to the u.s or maybe you are a citizen of say one country by birth and you gained residency in the u.s but you're back in your country your birth country guess what as a resident or even a citizen of the u.s we are still responsible for filing income taxes right now there are financial thresholds um, um, where you say are not required to file but that's the income portion but there are other aspects of your return that do need to be filed such as foreign bank accounts need to be reported and I'll go into that briefly but please remember that I am not a tax expert I'm only sharing this with you because as you can see there are steep penalties um, which can lead to jail and high financial penalties that are due if you fail to file your taxes, okay? So um, here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna try to make this as briefly as possible. First of all, as a US citizen and resident aliens, meaning that you are native born of another country but you, you have US residency, um, you are still responsible for filing your US taxes. Even if you're living abroad, you do not plan to go back or you're going back and forth whatever the situation is. All right, so it says here, this is the IRS website. If you are a US citizen resident or resident alien, the rules of, for filing income, estate and gift tax returns and paying estimated tax are generally the same, whether you are in the United States or abroad. You are subject to tax on worldwide income from all sources and must report all taxable income and pay taxes according to the Internal Revenue Service Code. So you can go to the irs.gov website guys and read this but what I want to show you is that first of all the deadline is uh, April for this year 2023 is April 18th but here's a tricky part the deadline to file for your US tax return is April 18th 2023 but US citizens abroad are granted an automatic extension to June 15th 2023 but don't breathe to you know a sigh of relief this is the second part of it if you end up owing taxes the deadline to pay do pay tax due is April 18th, regardless if you live stateside or abroad. So your deadline is still going to be April 18th if you owe taxes. So you have to still do your taxes to see if you owe the taxes. And if you do, the deadline is still going to be April 18th, right? So the extension may or may not apply in your case, all right? Now, the two things I want to point out is that there are taxes on that uh, laws that require us to report banking information and also if you own assets in a foreign country. These are requirements for us even if you are living abroad. If you've been living abroad for years, you do not plan to return, you go back and forth, whatever your situation is, we're still required to report this information. And over 200,000, I think I read, banks are participating in this. So no matter, likely, more than likely, no matter where you are abroad, your bank is reporting back to the US if you have a bank account with them, particularly a US bank account, a dollar account, um, reporting back to them that you receive money into that bank account. All right, and I think I read that it was uh, a total of ten thousand dollars in a year if you receive that that that's reported back to the US but do your own reading and research on this consult your own tax accountant and they should be able to give you some information but let me show you this guys um, as far as the penalties 
or fees okay so if you fail to pay your taxes and your uh, register your banking information or report that you have assets including property rental property this could be uh, shares in a business in some countries or in many countries in order to even operate a business business legitimately you either have to leave an investment amount with that country or you have to partner with a local if you have partnered with a local you have to report your earnings from that partnership your uh, portion of the business and any earnings must be reported to the United States now once again there are income thresholds so if you do not exceed that threshold you will not uh, have to pay taxes but consult your tax accountant because your situation could be different if you have money coming in from other places dividends other sources of income it may require that you uh, report that income so no one you know there's no one way of doing this because we're all individuals and have different uh, financial situations and sources of income all right so the FBAR and the FATCA or fees are, are or things that you can uh, end up paying fees for or penalties I should say because you did not file now um, this one if you meet the requirements and are found willfully failing to file FBAR you can be fined up to the greater of a hundred and twenty four thousand five eighty eight or fifty percent of the total balance of all of your overseas accounts all right and then here for FATCA it says if you meet the requirements and fail to file FATCA form 8938 you can be fined from 10,000 up to 50,000 if you do not act in uh, act timely now it also says these are compounding penalties meaning if you willfully ignore the IRS and FinCEN and don't file for 10 years you can owe the better part of $500,000 in fines and penalties not to mention lose your passport and even face jail time so there is a risk for not paying your taxes as you know many people are making investment building homes uh, building resorts investment properties properties that you plan on renting businesses um, whatever your assets are in the in those foreign countries uh, businesses that you have invested in and partnered with you need to know what's going on with the partners with the partners income all right and what they are reporting that you are earning in that partnership if you're you know not aware so you need to be active in any partnerships and make sure that those numbers match what you are reporting and those assets match what you are reporting and the distributions of those assets assets match what you are reporting as well all right and so um, a place that you want to go on the uh, IRS website is the BSA e-filing system just look that up the BSA e-filing system supports electronic filing of Bank Secrecy Act forms so there is a Bank Secrecy Act all right and so you have to go there and file these forms electronically and um, make sure that you are in compliance with the rules as it as it pertains to filing your taxes and so on and so forth now the good news is that most people will not have to will not owe any taxes um, most people living abroad do not owe taxes but it's just good to file it even if you are not required in my opinion you're not required but um, many people are not required but if you do not or if you're not required it's still good because it can benefit you in other ways you may be trying to do something else and it says okay we need your tax returns from the last whatever years and you haven't filed and so therefore you become disqualified for things that are beneficial to you all right or things that you may need um, and you have no tax filings um, to show that you have been filing taxes and that you are a citizen and responsible citizen and doing uh, what is right now once again you may be responsible a responsible citizen and you just may not be required to 
file the taxes but we all know that many times companies ask for this information um, and it just looks better if you have tax returns to report even if there are zero earnings okay so um, guys that's just the information I want to share I'll leave links um, to the IRS website and uh, the BSA uh, links as well and also know that free tax USA you can file your taxes free with them and even file your federal electronically free with them um, the state cost you $14.99 I've been using them for several years um, and I can tell you that even with a schedule C for businesses um, 1099s if you earn those uh, as a contractor they are also free they don't charge you extra for those for those forms um, if you get the auditing package it comes you know it's just it's a great service look into it and then your state you don't have to file your state electronically you can print that out and mail it or have someone to mail it for you if that's how you're going to do it but um, check out their services I think you'll be pleased with them all right so thank you guys and let's stay compliant let's do everything to prevent them from say, you know pointing a negative finger at us as we transition either back and forth to the continent or to the continent permanently, whatever your decision, however the Most High is leading you to do, um, make your transition, um, just do it according to His will, all right? And thank you and have a wonderful day. Shalom.